Hi, welcome to this step-by-step -step video tutorial for TD151CL. With this communication card, you are joining the IoT of Fire Alarm Systems through DevNav Cloud. Let's take a look at the unboxing first, shall we? When you first open the box, you will find three items inside. The TD151CL communication card, bag with the required connectors and screws, and a quick start guide. Let's take a look at the communication card in detail. The T151CL includes an Ethernet port with a specific serial number, a jumper to choose whether the panel is addressable or conventional, and the serial port that will be connected to the panel. Let's see now how we can install this in our Fire Alarm panels. Now, before we do, it is important that you have a Den of Cloud account activated. If you haven't, you can do it now very easily by entering www.denofcloud.com. Go to Private Area. Click on Registration and fill in the online form. Once sent, the account will take 24 hours to activate and you will automatically receive the new credentials to access Den of Cloud. Before we start, make sure your addressable panel is updated with the latest firmware version. Enter the installer menu and look for the check version option. You may contact our technical team to verify the last existing version or download it from our website. For this tutorial, we'll be using the CAT150 addressable panel with the metallic casing. Open the panel and disconnect first the batteries and then the AC power supply. Once the panel is switched off, Remove the four existing screws located on the top right side of the motherboard. Then, use the serial cable provided in the box to connect the TED151CL to the motherboard. Place the card over the panel and replace the screws again. Finally, connect the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port. The installation of the card for compact panels is very simple as well. In this example, we are using a conventional panel. First, you need to disconnect the power supply. Remove the screws of the motherboard. Place the TED151CL card behind on its dedicated space. Replace the motherboard again. And replace the screws. And remember, if you're connecting the TED151CL in a conventional panel, make sure you switch the jumper to the correct position. Once the Ethernet cable is connected, the other side must be connected to either a switch or a router with internet access. Once this is done, you can verify the status of the communication card by looking at the LEDs. The first one indicates power supply. The second one indicates an IP address has been assigned to the panel. And the third one indicates the card has internet access. If the three LEDs are blinking, it means we can move forward to the next step, configuration. Ten of Cloud configuration can be done from the same smartphone app. You can download it from both iOS and Android Store. Open the app and type in your username and password of your Ten of Cloud account. Once logged in, in the menu, go to Connect Facility and enter the 8-figure serial number located on your TED151CL card. Then click Activate and you're all set. You can also access your Deadnoff Cloud account using the web browser at app.deadnoffcloud.com. Moreover, if you are the administrator of the account, you can also access the administrator site at www.mydadnov.com. This site will allow you to create new users, assign installations to users, and adding geolocations to your site, among others. And that's all. Thank you for watching this tutorial and enjoy Deadnov Cloud, the IoT of Fire Alarm Systems. See you soon.